Okay, Christian Livingstone here, and uh, I'll probably put this little segment at the front of the video so it kind of explains uh, what you'll be seeing. And what you will be seeing, uh, I'll just verbally tell you as well, um, is two clips of the initial uh, footage that I, I've taken from this new uh, Mobius uh, action uh, cam. It's, uh, it's a little tiny, small spy camera. It's marketed as a spy camera, an action camera, a dash cam device. Uh, it can also uh, be used for a webcam. So it's a real versatile little camera and uh, uh, it's very inexpensive too. It was about uh, $80 for that. Uh, I got uh, a little more expensive package. I think it was $89. But uh, uh, you know, it's it's. I'm really impressed with that uh, little sucker up there. Cause uh, uh, earlier the the camera that I'm using right now to to film this uh, little segment is uh, what I initially had mounted up top there on the uh, electric hand cycle. I was trying to you know capture some footage of me buzzing around town, and uh, I I mounted this camera up there, and you know it it did okay, but it's a kind of a pistol shaped thing with a flip out viewfinder and uh, you know I had it on a, a little uh, tripod type mount and uh, it was top heavy and it just uh, didn't tolerate being up top there but uh, this flat little uh, camera this uh, Mobius as you can see it's a, a tiny little sucker it just slides right off the mount it's brilliant it really is uh, it does 1080p uh, 720p even 720p at 60 frames a second for you know super high action blah 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 and uh, so I just mounted it up there with the very same mount I had previously and it works great you know I put uh, some uh, foam uh, silicone pad uh, in the uh, between the collar that I mounted it to the, the crank uh, post up top here. I'll, maybe I'll take the camera and point it out a little more closely. But uh, anyway, I uh, just uh, double checked. I had this uh, hooked up to my computer while it was up top there because this doesn't have an LCD or a viewfinder so you, you really don't know where you're looking at. So you put the cable on and you connect it to your computer and so I had this you know, right in my bedroom area on the electric hand cycle and I had the cable extension and uh, you know, thought, yeah, that, that'll be about right, but, you know, I wasn't sure, so I took it out for a couple of uh, clips. And, uh, interestingly, uh, I got the uh, wide-angle uh, lens for this, and, you know, it's a little wider, maybe a little better, maybe it takes in more light. But uh, at 1080p, it gives, uh, I believe, a 112-degree uh, field of view, which is, is that's way wide, wide. and... Uh, uh, I usually like wide uh, uh, camera angles so you can get up. Okay, here we go. Testing, testing. This is the uh, 1080p mode and uh, we're recording. I'm just checking the angle of the mount for the lens to see, you know, if it's too low or too high, too far right or too far left. And also the uh, field of view. The 1080p apparently has a wider view and uh, I'm going to switch to a uh, 720p and it'll get a lower view. So let's see what we got. Here's 1080p on the electric hand cycle. And we're recording. And jumping up to about 20 miles an hour now. 21. At this temperature, that's about all I get. Okay, I'll stop recording there. And I'll go on the way back in 720p. I don't know. For interviews, wide, wide angle seems best. And so I thought, eh, I'm just in the habit of liking wider lenses. So uh, I got this one, but interestingly, uh, I believe, uh, and after the footage, you'll see the two little clips. They're not very long. With me, blabbing on, uh, it might be a little longer. But uh, the 720p uh, narrows the field of view down to, I believe, 63 degrees, and I like that better. 
you know, it's it's almost you know half of what the wide view is. But you know, when I'm on this, I don't need to take it all in. You know, I I kind of like uh, where I'm steering to be a little more selective than what you're seeing. So, you know. Okay, we're in 720p. We're recording. This might give uh, that difference in the field of view. I suppose. Uh, listening for the audio too after I play back this. See how much wind you, you hear and if I should put a little cattail type uh, device to kind of shield some of that. Let's see if my buddy's here. I'll brag about my little device. Somebody's home. What you doing, boy? Your mama, your daddy, somebody home? Papa? He didn't have to work. Yeah, I saw the purple car's gone, so mama's gone, but uh, big daddy's home, huh? Yeah. What's he doing? Hibernating? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. I'm just uh, playing with my little camera here, so I'll come back another time. All right, Chip. Let me let me get this little dog back in. Chewy. There you go. Thanks. All right. Back on, and I'll uh, bring the camera up and uh, just give you a little closer look of how it's mounted. And this is how it's mounted. It's mounted with a stainless steel collar. It's a split uh, collar and uh, I've used a lot of collars in building this electric hand cycle. You can see here and inside the uh, uh, little chain guard I used a collar to fix it up in there without having posts or, or clamps of other types. But uh, that's the camera up top there. And uh, there's the, the bushing. I don't know. Lighting may not be just right, but there's a little bushing. So there is a little play in here. You see the little wiggle in there? It's not really hard mounted to this uh, uh, crank uh, uh, bottom bracket here. It, uh, it gives it has a little give. So between the tires and uh, this little bushing I put in here, I'm happy with the uh, uh, stabilization now there is no you know optical or digital stabilization uh, 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 capability in that camera itself but uh, uh, as, on the clips you'll see I think uh, you'll agree it's uh, it's quite fine you know you know you're gonna be seeing a guy on a electric hand cycle without shock absorption and all those uh, other kind of features so you know you expect it not to be just perfectly still as you're buzzing down the road so um, I think I'll uh, go down my little gravel driveway here and see how it tolerates uh, the mount now it's got a little bit of foam bushing padding it might help a little and let me see how it picks up the angle with the Chasing the dog around too, maybe. Do, 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 do. And here, here's with the, the hand cranking. You can see the hand cranks go by. We're doing the electric right now. What you doing, puppy?
What you doing, boy? Doro. Doro. What you doing, puppy? Come on. Come on, boy. There it is. That is the Mobius Action Cam mounted atop an electric hand cycle, a custom electric hand cycle that you know I tailor to my needs because I've got uh, so-called uh, special ambulating needs or enhanced needs uh, in that area, so-called needs. I really don't need this thing, but uh, it sure is fun, and uh, I sure do enjoy having it. And uh, maybe on uh, another clip uh, here, I'll uh, you know roll into the supermarket because, as you can see, there's a, a basket for shopping and things, and I do. I roll right into the supermarket. But maybe I'll point out one more thing on the camera itself. There's an internal battery that gives you about 80 minutes of. Uh, of shooting time which you know is, is good uh, but uh, since I have a, a big old uh, battery on this uh, it's a lithium uh, uh, style battery uh, a big old battery with plenty of amp hours and uh, I think I'll just tap into the uh, 12 volt circuit the battery's 48 volts but I, I created a 12 volt circuit with a, a DC to DC converter and uh, I'll uh, further tap into that 12 volt circuit and put a little inline DC to DC converter to uh, drop it down to 5 volts and, and then just have an active uh, uh, power uh, uh, supply to the, the camera itself. So I'll never have to really take it off and charge it up unless I want to. You, you can see how easy it does come off, you know. I rarely ever leave this thing unattended. I roll right into my, uh, my place. So, uh, and that, that opens up more uh, interesting uh, ideas to me too uh, uh, in the literature. I, I just ordered that little DC to DC converter. It's only like, I don't know, $4, $5, $8, something real cheap. So I'll just uh, hook that up to the uh, little uh, mini USB uh, cable and put that inline DC converter and uh, pipe it right into the 12 volts. And that uh, gives rise to possibilities that uh, uh, is built into that camera, which is uh, the dash cam ability. I I'm thinking maybe I'll just uh, set the uh, uh, file uh, configuration file uh, settings to uh, have it act as a dash cam. And that means I can just, as soon as I power up the hand cycle, I flip the switch uh, down below, uh, it will automatically start the camera shooting video, just like in a dash camera in a car, if you set it that way. You know, as soon as you get in the car, you know, it's recording everything. Because, you know, in some places, I, I believe, in, like in Russia, you know, they have these staged uh, car accidents, and you got to be real proactive, I guess, uh, not to get caught up in one of those. So a dash cam is became, becoming pretty pretty uh, uh, practical in some places, but uh, for me as well, just to have as a default setting, I, I think I'm liking the idea of just leaving that thing up there, and every time I get on this thing, turn it on, it's shooting. And uh, you can have it uh, uh, do in loops, so that, you know, once the uh, little uh, smart card, the uh, micro SD card is, is filled up it just starts over again and 32 gigabyte smart uh, uh, SD card in there means I don't know how long I can shoot probably 10 hours maybe a video at 720p so you know I can probably have like four days worth of video shot and if there's anything I want to go back to or glean out of there or maybe I'll even just know that I'm shooting and just do my videos from there. Oh, look at the puppy. Don't be afraid, boy. Uh, that way, you know, it's it's just constantly doing it uh, in the background, and, uh, you know, I'll know it's, it's happening, so if I want to get animated and interact with people, you know, I can just, uh, you know, know that it's going on and 
maybe inform them that hey uh, while you're here uh, say something uh, you know maybe post it so that's what I'm thinking I'm thinking uh, maybe set it up to uh, automatically start recording as soon as I turn on the hand cycle and get down the road and uh, then it'll always uh, you know the last five days worth of my riding on this sucker will be there for me to uh, uh, pop out of that little uh, micro SD card and say hey yeah I'll, I want to post this little clip uh, portion on uh, Facebook or some other silly idea Just in my place. Okay, that'll conclude the very initial test just to check the uh, camera uh, mounting uh, and that uh, those two settings, the 1080p and the 720p. We'll see what they look like here in a second. Okay?